YouTube, Kurt Curtis. It is Monday morning. I have a pretty big shipping day today. I have 25 things going out. So not all of it fits on the table here. So this is just the first round. After I go through this stuff, I'll clear it up and put the second round of stuff going out today up. Before I get started, any trading card sold for less than $20 is getting shipped eBay standard envelope. That's why I can sell those items for so cheap and still make a profit. Only cost 51 cents to ship. Also, if I don't mention how much I paid for something, which happens a, a lot, it's because I got it in like a bulk deal or I just forgot how much I paid for it, but uh, mostly because I got it in like a bulk deal and there wasn't really a price per item, but just throwing that out there. Let's go through everything that sold. First up, solid DVD sale, boy crazy. This is pre-owned, sold for $19.99. Really good sale there. Next up, I sold this G.I. Joe vehicle. This thing ended up selling for $12.08. It's like incomplete as well. It's kind of for parts. I will take it. Next up, sold this Anne of Green book. Um, this ended up selling for $16.99. Sold a Magic card, Righteous Valkyrie. This is foil and everything. Um, that sold for $4.99. Next up, sold a wrestling figure. The Stone Cold Best of 98. Packages in rough shape. This is mine from back in the day. Uh, this ended up selling for $15.99. Next up, sold a Flesh and Blood card. Sold for $2.49. Next up, I sold one of these Hot Wheels Vintage Collections, um, the Green Mustang, sold for $19.99. Um, these things just sell very consistently. It's very nice. I still have a bunch of those left. Um, crazy pickup. If you haven't seen that, check out my channel um, from back in the day when I picked up like a bunch of Hot Wheels. Still selling them off. Next up, I have a huge Pokemon card buy again, or mostly Pokemon cards. This is from a viewer. This person also picked up cards the last few weeks as well. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. This is a pretty big order here and there's some cool cards in here. Let's go through everything. This uh, McDonald's promo Pikachu, non-hollow, ended up selling for $3.49. This slacking ended up selling for $2.99. The Gyarados sold for $3.99. The Beedrill sold for $9.99. I also picked up a football card, this Ray Lewis card, that ended up selling for $2.99. Back to Pokemon, picked up two copies of this Claydol that each sold for $1.99. Sanaconda sold for $1.99. Here is a Dragapult VMAX, that one sold for $13.99. Um, and this one sold for $1.99, and that one sold for $1.99 as well. This person's total was $47.39 for all these. Um, this is a viewer of the channel, thank you very much. I appreciate the business. This stuff will be shipped out today, so hopefully you'll be getting it soon. Thank you once again. And then last up for this round, got these pair of Nike shoes. Picked these up for five bucks at a garage sale uh, kind of recently. They ended up selling for $34.99, so not too bad. Let me clear. All right, here is round two for Monday. I have a few more things going out today. Um, first up, sold another DVD, Glitter and Queer. This is pre-owned, sold for $19.99. These gay interest DVDs that I picked up like a bunch of, um, I don't know, not that long ago. These things are slow sellers, but man, am I going to make a ton of money once all these things sell off. But um, yeah, really good sale there. Next up, I had one person pick up two of these vintage DC glasses. This is a really good sale as well. Um, this Riddler one ended up selling for $29.99. And this uh, Penguin one ended up selling for $39.99. So that person's total was $69.98. I'm going to save on shipping, shipping these together. So um, really good sale there. I actually think I have another Riddler one. So solid to see those go. Next up, sold a DVD. This is sealed. Um, this ended up selling for $8.99. Sold uh, this Conair hair dryer. This was part of the $20 fill a car sale. This ended up selling for $19.99. Glad to get rid of that thing. Um, next up, sold a book, this vintage Firefox book. This ended up selling for $9.99. And then last up for the day, sold another DVD, The Living Desert. This is sealed, sold for $14.99. It is Tuesday morning. I have six eBay orders going out today. First stop sold this Marvel 91 card Silver Surfer that sold for $249. Next up, I sold a pair of women's Levi jeans. These are new with tags. Paid $3.14 for these. They ended up selling for $22.99. Next up, sold this compact reference Bible. This ended up selling for $19.99. Sold this Everest Cologne. I got this in a $20 fill a car sale, and this thing ended up selling for $32.99. Not too bad at all. Sold a Young Guns hockey card that ended up selling for $5.99. And then last up for the day, sold a DVD, The Layer, The Complete First Season, sold for $14.99. It is Thursday morning, skipped a day here, and that is because yesterday 
I didn't sell a single item. I had nothing to ship out yesterday, which is crazy. Um, I've had slow days before, but usually at least have like a couple items, but absolutely nothing. And today I'm only shipping out three items. So in the last two days, this is all I've sold on eBay. Uh, it's pretty bad, but um, it is what it is. Uh, first up is a decent sale though. This is the uh, Tommy Bahama Hawaiian embroidered shirt. I picked up a couple of these at the yard sale. I paid a dollar for this one, ended up selling for $39.99. So not too bad at all. I had a feeling these shirts were going to be decent just by the way they looked. Um, yeah, took a chance on it and it paid off. Um, next up, sold a Flare 94 card Rogue. That sold for $2.99. And last up for the day, sold a DVD, Murder in Fashion. This is pre-owned, sold for $9.99. It is Friday morning. I have five things going out today. First up, I sold another pair of these women's Levi jeans, new with tags. These ended up selling for $22.99. Um, have you guys noticed, like, when I, whenever I have a multi-quantity listing and then I sell one of the items, then the other ones seem to sell quicker after that? Not in all cases, but I noticed that. I've had these jeans uh, listed for quite a while, sold one a couple days ago, and then now sold the other one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not complaining, though. Glad to get the sale. Next up, sold the Young Guns hockey card that sold for $2.99. Next up, sold this lot of PC games. This, is, this listing has been up for quite a while. Um, this lot ended up selling for $16.19. Sold a lot of three Babysitter's Club. These are like graphic novels. I believe I got these for $0.30 cents a piece at the thrift store. This lot ended up selling for $14.99. And then last up for the day, sold this The Legend of Five Rings card game pack. This ended up selling for $8.69. It is Saturday morning. I have six things going out today. First up, sold a Young Guns hockey card that ended up selling for $5.09. Next up, pretty good DVD sale, Mommy, this is sealed. Ended up selling for $23.74. Next up, sold this Horse Show vintage card game. This is sealed. I randomly paid a dollar for this at a garage sale. Sold for $14.99. Next up, another viewer sale, the same viewer that picked up all the Pokemon cards earlier. I've been listing a bunch of uh, NFL cards and sports cards from the 90s recently. He picked up this one. Ended up selling for $3.99. Um, thank you once again, I appreciate it. Next up, sold another hockey card. This one ended up selling for $3.99. And then last up for the day, sold a Flare 94 Marvel card, Captain America, sold for $2.99. Just got some shipping supplies in the mail. Most of you probably do know, but just in case you don't, you can get free priority boxes from USPS's website. And um, yeah, they are actually free. You just go to the supplies and go to free sh shipping supplies. You can just add to cart. And um, yeah, so I picked up these. I believe they're the number seven box, but they are... Um, 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter by eight and a half. And they look like this when they're put together. These are pretty big boxes and I don't really use them that often to be honest, but I did run out so I can just get more. Most of the stuff I sell on eBay is less than a pound. So it ships like first class, media mail or eBay standard envelope. However, I do sell priority items sometimes and it is good to have. I, I only order a small amount. Like I ordered this pack of 10 and this shall last me a long time because I just don't use this box that often, but it is nice to use the free box um, when you need it. So um, yeah, that's what I picked up. I think I have some shoe boxes on the way. I'll show you guys those when they come in. It is time for the numbers for the week. Once again, another slow week on eBay here. Um, I had a total gross sales of $591.58 after fees and shipping and all that. My net was $375.86. So Typical week. This has been like the third week in the row. Numbers have been around this. eBay has just been super slow. I've been listing stuff. Like there's nothing you can do about it. I'm um, just got to wait till it picks back up. And uh, it's just crazy because on Monday I had probably one of the best days I ever had on eBay. I had so much stuff I couldn't even fit it on the table. I had to have two rounds. To just two days after that I sold zero items. And then just the rest of the week was just slow pretty much for the most part. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep going. I'm actually going to some garage sales right after this segment. So um, hopefully you guys will see that footage soon. Link to my eBay store is in the video description. Until next time. Tired every day. Sweep it into space. I got up to look. Now I'm on the case. I know why you left. I know what's in store. Troubles all around. I'm looking for yours.